Hello and welcome to my first video about XNet. XNet is a uh, network mod and you can uh, where you can transport items, fluids, uh, energy and and logic and it is designed to do that in a very efficient way so that large networks should be no more laggy than a very small network and they are not laggy at all. So in this first video I will talk about the, uh, the basic networking how to set things up do some uh, send some energy and fluids and items and uh, then in the second video I will talk about slightly more advanced setups and in the third and final tutorial video so to say these three they are connected I will talk about routers and router networks so let's begin right over here. To help you with your X netting, you might want to craft the manual. It, it will contain a lot of information about networking, uh, colors, controllers, routers, and you can combine this information with what's on the wiki. There's a link in the description. Um, the heart of every network is the controller. Some repeaters, comparator, iron and stuff. This gives you a controller. Every network needs one and you can have no more than one in a network. Uh, you can have several networks connected. It's the third video for that. And But each network must, ha must have its own controller, but they can't be connected because then it will look like this. Okay. Then the next thing is the one I just placed, the connector. The connector is used to connect your controller to inventories and machines throughout the network. And uh, before we move along, I'm saying network and we have uh, channels in this network, eight channels per network. Do not confuse this uh, with uh, applied energistics and how those channels work because it's not the same thing. You can have as many connectors in your network as you need to. I don't know if there's an upper number but you can probably have a, quite a few. They will connect like a cable and if you connect anything on the side of them that they can... Uh, let's see... If you connect wood for example that is not accepted as, an, uh, as a connection but the chest is. So if it connects, then you can do something with it, basically. Now in the controller, you can see all these chests. And I have quite a few, and it can be hard to keep track on, even if you have the coordinates for them. So you can actually, I don't need this many, but we can have, let's have two. So now we have two chests, and to make it easier to, to locate them, can do it like this as well. Right click the connector and set a name. So this can be the uh, good chest and this is of course the not the bad the bad chest. Now if you look in the controller we can see the connector good chest and connector bad chest. This may it's not needed it's totally optional but it makes it so much easier to uh, to find your things especially if you have several chests or perhaps several capacitors or energy storage devices. It can be very convenient. Now, I have connectors all the way and you don't have to do that. Instead, craft yourself some network cables and let's replace these four like that. The cable itself will not connect only connectors connect and then you have the network cables for the rest. All right, so now we have the basic stuff. How can we get started? Well, we need power. Up here we have an internal buffer of 100,000 RF. Simply place something here I have from Endryo, the Sterling generator, and let's place a few coals in it. And we can see that the buffer starts to fill up. Great, now we're running, we can do we can actually do things now. 
Now before we do anything, let me just first talk about the energy. And this one is almost done in 10 seconds. So every th this network needs power, but it doesn't consume any power unless you do something. So now it's done, 16,000 RF from that coal, and uh, we're not losing anything. But as soon as I start to enable channels like this, let's create a, an item channel. Then you have this, this small box here to enable the, this channel. And as you can see now, we're losing power because this channel is active. If we create a lot of channels like this, even if they don't do anything, we are losing power more for everyone. So let's not waste any energy right now. Instead, we can disable the channel and now we're not losing any power. Great. So what do we want to do? As you can see here, we can start all over. We have energy, item, fluid and, ener and energy. Energy, logic, item and fluid. So four different types of channels. Let's start with an item channel right here and let's disable it while we're setting it up and then we can enable it once it's fully completed. Now this channel, it's you can say it's a type of, a, it's a set of rules perhaps because you can do several things on, a, on the same channel. You can have two chests talking to each other and two other chests talking to each other but they can be in the same channel. If you want the same chest to do something else, well, perhaps you need to have two channels for that chest. That's totally fine, of course. So if we, we can also see the controller, I, we can't put items in it, but we can insert energy in it, for example. So I will demonstrate this shortly. Let's say we want to move things from the bad chest. Let's place some stuff in there. We find the bad chest and we click this rule here. You can select between run robin distribution or priority distribution. Let's do priority and we'll set up this rule. Now we get a few options. From this bad chest we want to extract. Then you can see it's a purple, not purple, orange-ish uh, E there. It means extract and we'll extract single items every 20 ticks, that's one second. And these, this one is not, uh, they're not enabled. And here you have the blacklist, or dictionary, metadata, and MBT matching. And for this chest, the good chest, let's create an insert rule here. So now we're exporting everything and importing anything. Now, things will start to Go away from here one item per second they will appear we can change the export to happen stack wise like this still every second or we can change it to be 20 is the shortest you need an advanced connector to go faster than this or up to 10 seconds so simple easy Nothing strange about that. But perhaps we only wanted to sort out that the import should only be coal, for example. Then if I put items in here, they won't be moved. Only the coal will be moved. And if I insert charcoal, it will also be moved, as you can see here. And if we enable metadata, we won't touch the charcoal anymore, only the coal. So I did that mistake myself, so now you know as well. So that's how simple it is to do this. We can have more chests and we can do some sorting. Let me change this to a connector instead. And now we have the iron chest without the name, so that's the new one. And here we can oh, let's disable that and insert only these things. Yeah, that one was uh, inserted before I disabled it. So that's how simple it is to do some 
simple sorting and uh, yeah great perhaps it's time to move on to the next step over here where I've set up a slightly larger network we have a few chests like we had over there we have tanks and we have the uh, generator so here I have a few rules already set uh, let me go through them instead of doing everything <laughs> from scratch it's quite easy to do mistakes especially in the beginning um, but in the end it's very logic just be do it slowly disable the channel while you're setting it up and then do it step by step so here I want the sterling generator we want to export in yellow means that it's energy green means uh, items and blue is uh, fluids there's also red by the way and that is logic but this one is for energy so we want to export energy from the sterling generator over here Ex extract not export and we want to insert it here insert in the controller we can have a rate to limit it or we can uh, set a max number and uh, so basically this works well it should work if we only had power in the gen in the controller right now we don't have anything so we can't transfer this power just yet so i can kickstart it quickly like this and then just remove it now it will run as you can see we're transferring the power from here into here and now it will be now it will manage itself as long as i keep keep an eye on this and keep uh, any charcoal or coal or wood in this generator this will have power because it will constantly insert uh, the energy from it into the controller so the next set of rules is basically what we did over here you have one export chest in the input items and in this one input items here we have a valuables and stuff so from the input items we're doing extract and we're extracting everything stack wise once per second no no filters or anything and in the valuables chest we insert various <laughs> valuables and in the stuff chest we insert some other things so as you can see here we insert that into the chest but we also want to insert things into the sterling generator because we want to keep that filled up with the charcoal but it's quite good to do it in two steps so you have everything in the in this chest so we know where we have everything and then we can also set it you can have two rules for example insert here and also have insert in this box but if we run out of uh, charcoal in this chest we will still have in this one but they won't be transferred here unless we set up another rule to extract it from the stuff chest and it will be charcoal and coal and cons burnables i guess and insert them into the starting generator so if we do like this they will first end up here and then they will end up in here and if I insert the other stuff as well here well they should end up where they belong so one final rule to go through is this one and uh, the fluid so I'm naming this fluid input exactly as we did over there uh, lava for this one and water for this one and the rule set is identical new channel extract from the fluid tank named fluid input we extract every second and it will be one bucket per per extract i guess i think so i'm quite sure and then with no filters we do the filtering on the lava and water so this is the water fluid tank and this is the lava fluid tank and as you can see here i set the filters here and here so 
So right now, if I just set some love in here, immediately will be transferred to this tank and water to this one. So it works very much the same. So now perhaps we don't always want to insert charcoal in here. Perhaps we want to keep it with only one charcoal and then then, then we can start to do some, some logic channels. So we have covered items, fluids, energy and we have logic. So now we can create logic as well. This can quickly turn out to be more advanced so Let's do this in the next episode instead, where we go through the advanced connector and some more messy setups. And um, I think we're well done for this one. So I hope you find this interesting. It's a very fun mod. And um, yeah, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. And I'll see you in the next one, which will be part two. Take care and bye bye.